Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So this morning we have some reviews on different 660s. Uh, one of them from being from Neotech and the other one being from Hulse Pharma. Now, uh, I, I really like both machines, don't get me wrong. I mill more with the 660 that's from Neotech or from uh, Hulse Pharma, excuse me. And the reason that is, is just because I started with Hulse Pharma, okay? And so the ones I've been milling with, I want to keep milling with because as a, uh, problems arise, I want to be able to report them to you guys, okay? And so so this is the one I currently mill with the most, okay? Uh, it has a Montello uh, top end on it. It's a 56 millimeter. And so it's not that part, the whole top end is not from Hulse Pharma at all. And uh, it works wonderfully. I love those top ends. I have them in both Neotech and Host Pharma. And we'll go on to show you the Neotech one a little bit that has the Montello top end. Uh, so it's a good machine. The only issues I've had so far with this one has been uh, the clutch. We had an issue with the clutch. Uh, I was supposed to have one come in last night. It didn't come in. Uh, but um, so probably going to rob one off another one or temporarily use another machine to mill with. We'll see until next week. So uh, good results with these machines. I can't complain about either one, to be honest with you. I've had no problems with the oilers, no problems with the uh, uh, starters breaking, nothing like that. Uh, the chain brake, no issue at all. I use it every time I stop my uh, Norwood PM14 to adjust my height on my height deck. And I use the, the chain brake often, never no problems. Uh, and I've processed probably over a hundred uh, logs with this, this unit right here. So, uh, zero issues with that. Now, does that mean that everybody's going to have that experience? Of course not. So, uh, but just with my experience and my practical application, that's what I've run across. Okay. This one comes with a standard air filter, probably needs to be cleaned, but we'll show you. Of course I did the cosmetics on the air filter cover. It's just black, uh, I like making my stuff look a little bit different. Uh, comes with a standard air cover, has the sheath around the outside. As you can see, it needs to be cleaned. We'll throw it back on there, keep debris from getting in there. Uh, but yes, sir. Uh, uh, so that one comes with a standard air cover. Uh, a machine that looks the most and the, probably the closest equipped would be this one to Neotech. Awesome machine, I am totally thrilled with this one. A uh, little reluctant to put some of these on the mill just because I like them so much, to be honest with you. And because milling is a rough life on a chainsaw. These come with the uh, what they call the ProFlow air system. They work wonderful, as you can see, the, the filter filtration system gets all the fines, I love that. Uh, I, have, I know that I don't have debris getting into my intake. Uh, into the carb and then furthermore into the uh, top end and so I like it for that reason a lot uh, these come with the Hylic uh, computer or computer uh, uh, carburetors and also like that the ones that come on the Hulse Pharma's are they have no identifying marks unless you buy the uh, the pro version and they come with a uh, See, I believe the the pro version comes with the uh, the imitation Walbro. Uh, I believe. Don't quote me on that. We don't have one here. I have had a couple through here uh, that I bought for customers that preferred that. I'm going to be honest with you again here with that. You're going to pay somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred more dollars for the pro version of these saws. Okay. Do I think it's worth it? No. Your upgrades are. The spark plug, which you can replace anyway, and I suggest you do. Uh, the What they call the Italy crank and all that. I've had no issues with these cranks. So why would I want to upgrade and spend that much more money on a crank? This is myself. Another thing that they do is they usually have the upgraded carbs. Uh, I've had no better success or no better luck or no more failure out of either one. Okay? I've had equally issues with all of them. So for those reasons, I don't prefer now if you like the cosmetic portions of it then that would be a reason maybe okay to upgrade to the pro version uh but for a hundred dollars to me it's just not worth it okay so that's the difference between these two machines this one comes 
stock with a 54 millimeter top end from Holtz Pharma, which was a strong uh, top end. I still have it in stock. Uh, if I have issues with my 660s, uh, which I have six of them in, uh, for my personal use, because like I said, I do a lot of milling and I, I love running a 660. Uh, once you get used to the heavy weight of them, but if you're only running a 20 or 25 inch bar on them, they're not that heavy and uh, you get used to it. But so, I, but I like, I love running them, uh, uh, doing whatever kind of cutting I need to do. Uh, 660 and the 372s are probably my, my fa most favorite saw. And so uh, I also love the 381s and 380s uh, uh, clones from Neotech and Holtz Pharma. Uh, 380, uh, Holtz Pharma makes a nice 380. So uh, let me go ahead and pause you guys and I will show you two more units. Okay, so here we have uh, two more units, uh, one by Holtz Pharma and one by Pharmac. Now, to be to be honest, I did the cosmetics on this uh, Holtz Pharma. It is, uh, I'm, it's the Grim Reaper. It came actually as a, uh, it came actually as a Blue Thunder. And I did all the cosmetics to it. Uh, it was originally all hair from my wife. She might be messing around with my Grim Reaper. Um, so, <coughs> anyway. Um, so, I did all the cosmetics on. This is a metallic gray. Uh, I, I use a paint that is made for uh, plastic. And it, if you leave it long enough, it'll fuse with the plastic uh, pretty well. You get some chipping. Uh, you do. This particular one I've used a lot, and I've gotten very minimal chipping at all it also works well on the metal itself uh, now remember they use paint on the metal at the factory so that's what they're doing and so it's held up pretty well it's got these little stacks which in the beginning of my channel I got kind of a rough time with uh, from but uh, they're cool they definitely bring gain I have taken a uh, used different muffler on this machine and it cut the power this one too has the uh, Montello top in uh, which is 56 millimeters and it brings it up to 98.5 cc's and a very strong unit. Uh, uh, matter of fact, this puppy is probably about to hit the mill. I will probably switch out the uh, the muffler on it just because uh, who wants to hear that all day while you while you mill? And I also will have to switch out the log dogs, giving me more room up against the machine as I mill. I don't have to worry about these these uh, log spikes sticking out so far. And I'll have to remove the handlebar uh, because. It won't mount to the uh, PM14 chainsaw mill by Norwood uh, with it on. So it's going to get onto the mill probably temporarily while I wait for the clutch. Or I'll rob a clutch off another one. I haven't made up my mind yet. So, but anyway, it came as a, a basic model Holst Pharma. It's been a strong machine. Again, no problems with the chain brake, no problems with the starter. Uh, it comes with a generic brand uh, 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 carburetor. Uh, and so, again, this one looks like the pro version, but it's not. And this was a Blue Thunder. So, but again, I've had zero issues out of this machine, so I can't complain. Uh, again, the top end is by Montello, and it's not by Holtz Pharma, but I kept the top end. And again, if I have an issue and need a top end for either a customer saw or my own, I'll throw it back on there. I have no issues with that. And so, uh, but this was my favorite machine in the beginning. Uh, by far, it was, it's strong, it's fast, it's quick, it's, it's, this is one of my strongest, fastest saws there is, uh, staying within all the specs, and uh, it's not a race saw, it's just a good, good work saw. The only thing kind of puts it out there is this, these, uh, it's the Grim Reaper, and it kind of puts it out there a little bit with those horns. I got some stickers and cosmetics on there, and so, uh, let's go ahead and switch this out. Again, this one comes standard, this Farmac, which is by Neotech, uh, with the ProFlow air system as well, the same one that we checked out on the other Neotech. It also comes with the Hylic uh, uh, carburetor, which I've had less problems out of with any carburetor that I've seen from a Chinese carburetor, okay? Uh, really good carburetors, and uh, so I can't complain about that. Uh, again, I've had zero issues with the chain brake. Uh, and the starters on these units either. Uh, uh, matter of fact, the starters on these 660s, in my opinion, okay, I'm gonna get some flack for this, in my opinion, are better than the OEM, and this is the reason. Uh, they're made by uh, out of a better material. 
they just are okay the top covers on these that are coated with this uh this uh wrap uh they make them less sharp so for those reasons i like that like them wrapped when you get some of these units and that's why i like doing the painting to them you have to kind of clean them up a little bit with a dremel that way because they are kind of sharp they are uh, so the, the all the plastics and stuff that come on OEM are much better. Not that the plastics are any better. They may be. But it's just because there's no sharp edges to them. You know what I mean? So for those reasons, when I get a clone, especially if it's for a customer, I will clean them up a little bit. That's one of the reasons why I paint my air covers. Is because really that's the only part that shows out that's sharp. And I clean it up. I clean the size of the air filter cover up with a Dremel and then uh, really easy and then you paint it and it and it's done away with all that so um, but as far as the units go uh, these really are these Farmax which they had a killer deal on Amazon a while back uh, $240 if you were a prime member plus your discount code all this it came down to 250 bucks for a 660 you can't get a parts off for that and so I really like these. They sold out. We did a video on it. And they sold out in three, uh, like three hours. Sold like 200 and something of them. Uh, Amazon actually gave me a kickback. I didn't even know that if you share a link from Amazon, that it comes back to your account and you can get a kickback for it. Didn't know that. So, uh, so I appreciate it to Amazon. Uh, although I've been kind of frustrated with their delivery stuff lately. Uh, so that's these two units. And let me pause you guys one more time. I'm going to show you yet one more. Okay, so here you go. Here's the last 660 I'm going to show you guys today. And this one is my pride and joy. This is the one that I currently like the most, okay? And no, it won't go on the mill. And for those that reason, okay? Um, so this is the parts kit by Neotech, okay? Um, uh, it went together really well. Again, look, a little bit of a sharp edge back here, okay? Uh, I haven't done any cosmetics on it just because I'm kind of enjoying the difference of just the orange and white, more OEM look. And uh, uh, but it doesn't have so it doesn't have any cosmetics on it. It also has the Montello top end. OK, so it's not really by Neotech, that portion. And it is a beast. It's been ported. Uh, it's the only 660 that is fully ported. And uh, also another reason to not go on the mill, because if uh, you if you port the intake side, you really should not mill with your 660s okay now you can port the exhaust side to help get the heat out and then do a muffler mod to help continue to get the heat out and now that helps uh, it'll help performance too and uh, but it also helps to get the heat out of your saw so um, but this one comes standard it has the Hilux uh, as well uh, carburetor it comes with a standard air filtration system much like the whole Pharma does okay and with a little uh, foam rubber insert, I like that, that goes in before the uh, air cover or the air, the air filter. And uh, so that's cool. Uh, but this is, this is probably my favorite right now. And probably, uh, you know, I built it. So I know that it was put together correctly. I know all the specs are correct. I know that there's Loctite on everything. Uh, so in my opinion, even though this one probably only had a few, few about two tanks of fuel in it. Uh, haven't had no issues yet, but in my opinion, it's probably my most solid saw just because I know I put it together. Not that the companies don't do it, but my quality control is gonna be probably more thorough, okay? Because I'm putting one saw together instead of maybe 200 that day, okay? And so, uh, there you go. There you have it. Uh, really enjoying these, uh, Neotech uh, parts kits. I've got these ones, the 660s that I put together and the 381s. Uh, both are awesome saws, guys. Really awesome saws. Uh, we've got on order from Holst of Harma uh, some part saws too. And so both companies I thoroughly love. I really don't have a preference over either one when it comes to certain ones. Holst Pharma carries more clones, okay? So for that reason, there are many clones that you just can't get from Neotech that I really like from Holst Pharma. Uh, now, when it comes to 372s, okay, 372 Escobarna clones, I prefer Holst Pharma. I just do. Uh, and then when it comes to service, I have found in my experience, and I've seen this the same from others, that your service requests are quicker out of Neotech, okay? And so, 
there you have it. Wanted to kind of do a review on these 660s. They've been strong machines. I've had minimal issues out of them. The issues I've had has been, well, the clutch, okay. Um, the clutch has been one of them, the issues I've had. I had a leaking boot on one of my original ones uh, that I just, all I did is tighten it down and it was fine. Um, but that came from the factory and that's what it was. Um, let's see, what other issue? I had a leaking fuel cap one time, easy fix as well. That's it. And the carbs that come for these things from any company I've dealt with so far seem to tune out pretty decent. Uh, so for some reason it must be, maybe they've been cloning these carbs for a long time because the 660s and 372 Husqvarna's were really the original clones, the most clones sold, okay? So in my mind, and this may not be it at all, but in my mind, uh, they've had more research, more time to deal with fine tuning if you will, uh, the quality of those of these parts. So, and so for that reason, that's probably why you have less re problems out of these 660s and 372s for that reason. Okay, but all in all, I can't say anything bad about the 660s. Now, I have had OEMs through here, very strong saws. We're going to talk performance now. Okay, do these perform stock version on as OEM? Per, uh, perform stock not quite but close enough okay and when I say close enough the majority of the people unless you're a professional tree arborist or you're somebody that runs saws regularly I mean daily okay you wouldn't tell the difference uh, it'd be, it's like getting a few extra cc's just to be honest okay that's my opinion uh, now both saws can be tuned uh, tuned by the same person tuned by the same you know that's what you're gonna get and so uh, now this one built by me and ported and all that, and it's a big bore as well. This one will take the brake smooth off of a OEM 660. Just will. Uh, facts. Come at me if a person wants, but these are facts. Um, absolute facts. And most people would agree a ported clone, uh, as far as performance goes, is going to, if ported correctly, should outperform an OEM. It just would. The, the debate would end at the quality. Would this one last as long as an OEM? Probably not. Uh, now, I have some of these that I have built that I have put OEM seals, OEM bearings, OEM crank uh, cranks in, and just enough OEM parts that, yes, I guarantee they'll last treated the same as the OEMs will. But again, you're putting a certain amount of OEM parts in it as you build it, okay? So there's a price difference there, right? Because anytime you change the price of a part that you're adding to a saw that changes the overall build cost okay and my customers understand that and so uh wanted to throw up a uh a video this morning we're getting ready to go camping we talked about it yesterday uh this evening uh we've been building on a uh cabin on wheels a, 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 a cabin uh wheeler so to speak and uh i've got it the shell mostly built so we'll show you guys some videos of that another time. Uh, but we're going to finish sheeting it on the inside and outside out where we're camping while we mill. Uh, we're going to take the air compressor, and all the air tools and uh, power tools and a generator. And so uh, it's going to be a good time. Uh, appreciate everybody liking and subscribing. Uh, we are this close to being monetized. Uh, we're about to fill out our paperwork. So appreciate everybody and all the support that you guys have given. Not only from you subscribers, but different channels. You guys have been excellent, guys. Excellent. To be able to fill out your monetized papers within four and a half months from starting your channel is awesome. Our views ain't quite where, they're, where, they're, where I'd like them to be yet, but they'll get there. Like, I'll have a, a series of, of views that will be from five to almost a thousand views per video. And then I'll have some that barely make a hundred or 150, 200 views. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, the difference is you got a lot of channels that put out uh, videos two or three times a week. I put out daily videos. So if you do my views times six or seven times a week and you compare these other ones are getting a thousand views per uh, video, but only putting out a one or two uh, videos a week, uh, there's the difference. Okay. And so, uh, and also my analytics, you know, you guys are awesome. You know, most of, I would say 80%, 90% of the people that watch my videos watch all of it. 
uh, meaning I have extreme high uh, audience retention uh, for whatever reason somebody wants to watch me I appreciate it guys I really do and for those reasons we are currently filling out our monetized papers and uh, so uh, we'll see how that works out it shouldn't take very long maybe the next within a month we'll be fully monetized and uh, been speaking to Host Pharma about being an affiliate program with them uh, there's some negotiation going on there guys Listen, it pays you peanuts, it really does. All that it really does for you is gives you a better, it gives you a better relationship with the company to be able to help you guys out. That's it. Uh, it pays you very little, very little, peanuts. I make all my money by selling bulk saws locally, not even to you guys here on YouTube. Uh, I make all my money through just buying bulk, selling local, and porting saws for local people, okay? That way, if they have an issue, they can drop it by the saw shop and I'll have it running for them, okay? And so, I've sold a couple through YouTube, but uh, I prefer not to, really. Uh, it's people that, hey, if you understand that if there's an issue, we'd have to work it out because you're a long distance away. So, um, hey, appreciate you guys stopping by, as always. We've got a lot of new content coming up, and so uh, stay tuned. Hey, and always, stay safe.